This short video will take you through the steps for using the Skinner organ that's present in Sibelius 7 Sounds. It follows through the Avid Knowledge Base article that you'll see to the right of screen. The first thing that's important with the organ stops is using the right type of uh, text to give the uh, stop command to the Skinner organ so it can understand what you're telling it to do. Any kind of staff text will work, uh, but usually technique text is preferred because it defaults to the top of the stove. So on screen is just going through a little example of how I got the full organ information into the into the score to start with in technique text. So I'm just going to point out which particular definition of the organ I'm using in the score. In this case it's the swell organ. As you'll see when I select the instrument and go to the edit instruments dialog. And there it is, because it's defaulted to the one I had selected in the score, which is the swell organ. And the one below it, we've got organ pedals. And you'll see there's a different set of dictionary items or text commands for the pedal organ versus the swell organ manuals above. And you can see some of the uh, uh, the other technique text options I've used to add the information to the score for the stops that I want the uh, the pedals and the uh, swell organ manuals to change to. So you can go through that from steps one and two from the article on the right hand side. And there's just a slight variation in, uh, in what's in the article info to what I'm uh, doing in the score on my computer here. So the next thing to note just before playing it back is the uh, hidden natural text objects. The term NAT dot resets the, uh, the organ stops to neutral so that any change that's made after that point I won't be uh, conflicting with any previous stop combination that was in place. So there is a little bit of complexity going on beneath the surface with the uh, the Skinner organs and uh, depending on what stops you currently have set or what's uh, currently set in the background you might not hear things exactly as you expect. So I'm going to go through playing it now. change to the uh, the flute and then back to the full organ sound again uh, when the repeat section cycles back to that point it's important to mention here that the current stop sitting in place will hold It will hold as you move around to different parts of the score. As you can hear there, there's technically a stop change to flute four foot before that, but because we hadn't played through the natural reset and then changed to the flute four, it still held the, uh, the stop info that we had previously. This is a bit different to how it's, uh, how it's handled with um, certain other things, like if you had a, uh, a double bass stay for instance and jump to a part of the score that had uh, pizzicato preceding it you wouldn't necessarily have to go and play through to that point for it to change from Marco to pizzicato it would just know but the organ's more complicated than that so it uh, it actually needs to play through its stops so if you want to hear what a particular section after a stop sounds like with that stop in place you might need to go back to where the stop and its uh, associated natural marking preceding it occurred so that you can then play through so that stop is then put in place in memory and then when you go back and select other parts of the score to play from after that stop that will then sound with that stop in place. 